how you might be able to tell if your room was once a crime scene. Usually hotels don't want to talk about this, but it's not unheard of. They go to tremendous measures to cover up the fact that someone died right there on the carpet or bed, long after the body has been removed. Hotels may even change room numbers in high-profile situations, like the Beverly Hilton did following Whitney Houston's death. We inquired of a man who cleans up after recently departed people. He explained not just why so many people die in hotels, but also how the crime scene is cleaned up, and how you can detect if your room was once a crime scene. They discovered six adults and one infant child. Here inside the hotels where this happened, around 11 o'clock last night. And that breaking news is in Hawthorne, where there's a death investigation at a hotel. What happens after someone dies in room? A crime scene cleanup crew arrives after the police have cited the site to assess the damage. He's accused of shooting a woman at a motel in Nebraska and East Richmere Street. Police say he rode his bike up to the motel room and then shot the woman inside before then taking off. What are the signs someone might have died? A strange bulge has appeared in the wall. Look for an uneven surface where the wall has been filled in but not thoroughly sanded. A fact, a variety of causes can produce holes in the wall. Look at the size of the hump as a decent rule of thumb. It's probably a bullet hole if it's less than a quarter, says the expert. Only a portion of the room has been refurbished. If you see half the room with what appears to be new wallpaper and the other half with fading wallpaper, it's likely that something happened in there that only needed part of it to be removed. The air conditioner produces a bad smell. If you're staying in a hotel room with a wall air conditioner, it's the most frequently overlooked item by crime scene cleaners, and it frequently contains human remains caught in the vents after a death. The blood and other stuff seeps into the wiring and into the vents, causing the air to smell like rotting flesh. The ceiling is noticeably different than the rest of the hotel. A crime scene cleaner should be able to scrape whatever has to be scraped off the ceiling, disinfect it, and fill it in to make it appear fresh. Because floors on the ceiling aren't as noticeable as they are on a wall, it's usually a simpler correction. However, if you glance up and find a sagging ceiling, it might indicate a very gruesome death. Of course, none of this proves that someone has passed away in your room. The property might have been fumigated by a family of chain smokers. It's also possible that the hotel was ready for a makeover regardless. Or there was a serious leak in the ceiling. However, while death in hotel rooms isn't unheard of, it's worthwhile to look for warning indicators. Because the hotel isn't going to tell you. A man who said he accidentally shot his girlfriend at a Bossier City hotel is now facing an attempted second-degree murder charge. This is Brandon Stewart. He allegedly shot his girlfriend in the hand and chest. She's now in stable condition at a local hospital.